Willow Silo. We ain't do it. So here we are in the entrance to Pittencreef Park, or as known to the locals, the Glen. Anyway, there's a famous statue up ahead, goes by the name of Andrew Carnegie. Some call him a philanthropist. Oh look, I found a pound. Nope, it's just a plaque. Now Andrew Carnegie is significant in this park, Pittencreef Park, because Andrew Carnegie gifted this park to the people of Dunfermline. The story goes, as a child, he used to love Pittencreef Park, but he was unable to come and play around here because it wasn't public access, as is today. So he gifted it to the people of Dunfermline because he was a very, very wealthy man over in America. Now, it does say that he's Dunfermline's most famous son, but we all know that's a lie because Dunfermline's most famous son is, of course, Jim Leishman. The summer time has come And the trees are sweetly blooming And the wild mountain time Grows around the blooming heather Will you go Now, for anyone who grew up in Fife, they'll know about the green train in the Glen. They always want to play on this bad boy. Ha, ha. We've got some good graffiti in here. Let's find the best graffiti. It's got to be a penis somewhere. Papa, Papa there's a penis! What does that say? Yeah. Gayness is 100%. I pull my thing. Eh, eh, just let everyone know I'm coming. Yeah, the green train. Classic. The squirrels will take over the world eventually. We are watching. First, we took down the red squirrels. Take us to the squirrel. Take us to where all the squirrels go. That's what you call a ballsy Glen squirrel. I can hear a peacock. You hear that? Yeah, I can hear a child. Mm, I disagree. <laughs> We're on the search for a peacock. Ah! Look at this. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think you're in the middle of a town. Look at this. Squirrels, blackbirds, peacocks, rabbits. Oh, look, there's a pound. Nope. You really do feel the power of the trees when you walk through the glen. It's uplifting. There's some pigeons. So much life. Yes, it's just green. Nature everywhere. Oh, there's nature there. Oh look, there's some nature. There's some nature. 
I believe that this is a local Ned drinking spot in the Glen actually. Oh, so this is how Louise travels. <laughs> they call me the donkey. <laughs> and she's got me holding the camera. Currently on the hunt for the Dunfermline Pinkreef Park peacocks. Yeah. I think we might have found something. There we go. Support the peacocks of Dunfermline. Ginger man loves the rain. Louise doesn't. We found a dry spot. Well, being a ginger haired man, I love the rain. Look at my skin. It's waterproof. My skin is waterproof. Um. Pick your strawberries here. <laughs> Louise is opting for two. I'm just going for one. So here we are at Kearney's Fruit Farm. Kearney's Fruit Farm? Yep, it's pretty busy. Lots of people around. I'm talking to my camera. Oh, I look like a weirdo. That's okay. I've got my basket, my box. Louise's got two. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> here we are, heading into the tunnel, the strawberry tunnel. Louise's giving me a frown. She's got her uh, picking strawberry game head on. She's not worried about anything else right now in life other than just getting to these strawberries, picking strawberries, eating strawberries. Who knows, might make some strawberry jam. So, so we've got two punnets. The jam punnet and then... Ah, right. Strawberry update, we've been given tent number nine. How do we know which is nine? Oh man. Let's go. Mm. Look at this one. Pick all the good ones, <laughs> Obviously, they're heavy and they're full of all the strawberry juice. Shall I try one? Mm. Actually, that one wasn't good. Oh man, it's a total massive one, and then it's like white on the other side. This looks like a nice one. Look at that red. Yeah. I've had two strawberries, one I had to spit out, the other one. Nice. Strawberry fields forever. Way. Hello. Now, I'm a strawberry, just like all the other strawberries, but the, except they don't look like all the strawberries. People just walk past me. Don't want to eat me. Would you eat me? Would you? Look at this. It's like a... That's a classic strawberry there. That's in the premium box. My punnet is filling up. How's yours looking? This is Louise's primo box and this is her jam box. Who's making the jam? My mama. Mama's making the jam. Mama's making jam to nad for tea. <laughs> jam sandwiches. Jam sandwiches for tea. So, Kearney's strawberry farm was brilliant. Got a big Pun out of strawberries. Um, it was great fun. Seem the park was closed in Pittencreef Park. Man, this is my favourite place in Dunfermline to visit. Bar none. Absolutely beautiful. If you've never been here before, you have got to come. This is nature, animals, peacocks, squirrels, everything. Anyway, 